And as someone who used to talk trash, I will make an exception for this one. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I just run my mouth a lot. That's not my fault. If it was possibly if it was possible to be racist against cake, I feel like that would be you. Nowadays nothing really is ice for only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got white to on blinging she ice free, free photo, photo, please, please, no photos, no no, geez, no no, no, please, no photos. How's it going? So I got back from the gym a little while ago. Um, decided not to film these last couple weeks just because wanted to focus on training. Um, I did hit a 455 PR squat, uh, so that was really fun, but uh, didn't record it. But uh, we'll be getting back into some filming probably uh, the next month or so. It's really cold outside, like it's really cold. So <laughs> I just don't feel like bringing all my camera equipment and stuff and you know risking it falling in the snow or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been going really well. Hope you're doing well too. And yeah, I'm going to be just updating a few different projects here and there. I got some editing that I'm going to be doing in March. So I might be documenting my process behind that and just some different tips. But uh, stay tuned. And I'm going to just be filming a few random clips throughout the week here and there when I feel like it. And I also have some audio recordings of just some different conversations with my partner and I that uh, kind of like the last uh, vlog that I posted, you'll hear a little bit of our conversation just on you know life and relationships, whatever. So stay tuned for that.
All right, back from the gym. Uh, drive was wild, snow was crazy, weather's brutal, work is brutal. So fun stuff. Got a post-workout shake in with some creatine, uh, one and a half scoops of whey, and also had some breakfast earlier, but I inhaled that, so it was just some toast with uh, eggs and sausage. My buddy Trey's got a new YouTube video out. Okay, exactly. All right. So, so we got two slices of red velvet. Where's this from? Um, Pastry Castle on Edmonton. Pastry Castle. Black on business for Black History Month. That is true. Do, 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 do. Also, they just have the best red velvet cake. And as someone who used to talk trash, I will make an exception for this one. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I just run my mouth a lot. That's not my fault. If it was possibly if it was possible to be racist against cake, I feel like that would be you. Pie is far superior. Okay. Is this recording? I'm not gonna get into it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll shut up now. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. I think if, I am. If you can see me, then you're good. <laughs> so we're pretty good on the density. It's got good body, it makes it change of shape. I'm liking the layering, if we get a, maybe a nice little zoom in on that. It's got good layering between the cake and the frosting. And the icing is not too sweet. Okay, you know what? I'll shut up. Seriously, really good. But I think I honestly, between this and Big Expectations. Actually, hang on. Before I stop, stop. I could eat more of this. I could eat more of this, but I feel like. You know what it is? It's the Pepsi versus Coke. Um, Say that this is far superior, so I can record it and then put this camera. You know I can't. I can't give you that. No, I will give you love. I will give you money. I will give you my <laughs> kidney if you need a kidney. I will never give you happiness. <laughs> So I'm just filming this coming back from the gym, and the other day I had my first session with my new therapist and I wanted to just share something with you to kind of wrap up this video. Um, something that the therapist and I talked about was, you know, looking at your past self and different stages of your life and wanting to identify the qualities that you liked about yourself in those different periods and wanting to really capture those and work on those and make those shine. But also look at the areas of your life where you weren't proud of yourself and that you wish you had made different choices or that you wish you had, um, you know, been more informed or, um, you know. Um, and then also looking at qualities that maybe were influenced by other people 
and trying to determine which parts of yourself are genuinely you and then which parts are things that you've contoured in order to find your place in society or among your community. Um, I feel like we all do a certain extent of changing and contouring ourselves to try to be accepted and belong and fit in, um, but it doesn't always serve us and oftentimes it can lead us to not being our true selves and in some ways also you know, hurting ourselves and others. And when I was going through this topic with him, he let me share my piece and he agreed with me, but he also said something that really stuck with me, which was we also need to make sure that we have grace and have empathy for those versions of ourselves that even though they may not have always made the best choices, they were a version of ourselves that we thought was they're a version of ourselves that we were struggling with because we had traumas that we didn't even realize and we were simply doing our best to navigate through those traumas in the ways that we thought were best for us at the time. And so you have to always be mindful that you're not always going to be as informed as you are now, that you're not always going to make the best choices or say the right thing, um, but you need to have grace and forgiveness for yourself and learn from those mistakes and as long as you continue down a path of being better and growing, um, you need to be compassionate towards those versions that led you to where you are now where you recognize that you need to grow and change. Um, otherwise there would be no possibility for us to grow and change if we didn't have that ability to look at our past selves and, and, and be more compassionate and be more forgiving. Um, it made me realize that I was doing a lot of the desires for growth and change out of a need of fear, um, out of this place of worrying that I, if I didn't live up to my potential that I had failed in some way. And I've realized I've made a lot of my choices based off of what I'm afraid I'll miss out on or what I'm afraid will go wrong if I don't. And when he said that, and he said, you know, make sure to be have, make sure to have grace and forgive yourself, it made me realize that I need to come from this, this, I need to be willing to grow and change from a desire that's positive rather than one that's solely based off of fear. Because um, I'm always going to end up looking for something that's wrong with me and being obsessed with changing it or compelled to improve it without recognizing all the good things that are around me in that moment. Um, and all the things that have happened along the way that have gotten me there. Um, it's really important to not lose sight of the things that are the most significant to you in the process of trying to improve and do something better. It's always good to want to improve yourself. It's always good to want to strive for something greater um, than where you are. But along the way, you need to make sure that you have a good relationship with yourself, that you're not your harshest critic. Because um, all that does is it makes it more difficult for you to make those changes. And I think that's something that I'm going to be carrying with me going forward. And I'm really excited to take a more active approach in changing my thought patterns and just looking to make sure that when I choose to do something that it comes from the right place. And I've noticed a lot of friends and people close to me are, are taking those steps in their lives as well no matter what's going on, and I know it's been you know, a difficult couple of years for all of us, um, but I think there's still opportunities for all of us to still shine and thrive and find ways to work better, live better, love better, and I think it takes a lot of self-reflecting and being a little bit vulnerable in a way. So it's really important that you're mindful of when you have certain thoughts about yourself, where do those come from? Are those from you or are those things that you've been told about yourself over and over again from other people and now you're adopting it as your own? So just something maybe you want to think about and I know that's something that I'm going to be thinking about and looking to change in the future. Mm -hmm.